NVIDIA's RTX 3000 series cards announcement has left 2080 Ti owners in a bit of a panic. Let's discuss. Hi everybody, welcome to Pinky Tech. I'm Joe and today let's discuss the RTX 3000 announcement. So as I'm sure you've seen all over the place at this point, uh, NVIDIA's RTX 3000 cards are coming out and the cards are much cheaper than I was expecting and the performance wise so far uh, from what we know or what NVIDIA has claimed looks like they're going to be uh, they're going to be nice cards. So uh, if you did miss it, it was touted that the RTX uh, 3070 series was going to be more performance than a 2080 Ti currently and at a price point of $499 US. That's crazy. But that has sent 2080 Ti owners into a tailspin. The 30 series uh, of the card is now $500 where you spent $1,200 as a 2080 Ti owner. Now, I've seen, and I'm sure everyone else has seen at this point, all over eBay, these cards are now starting to sell for $700. You can see them as low as 600. I've seen a couple of cards for five and $600 locally, and it's getting crazy. So. You're a 2080 Ti owner, what do you do? Well, there's a couple scenarios here, but I would say don't do anything right now. And as a matter of fact, maybe not do anything for a while, and I'll explain. So you have a 2080 Ti, you paid $1,200 for the graphics card, now a new one's coming out. Realistically, you have a 2080 Ti. What's giving you so much of a problem graphically that you now need a better card? You don't. But, 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 but Joe, it's, it's only going to be $500 for a card that's better than mine now. Yeah, it is. You don't need to spend that $500. You have a 2080 Ti. It's doing everything you need to do. Do you need to upgrade it? And I would say probably not. It's a 2080 Ti. Most people would kill to have that card. I have a 1070 and I make YouTube videos. Maybe not very well, but not any of your business. But anyway, you have a 2080 Ti, that card's still gonna last you. It's not a piece of junk. It's not like you're rocking a you know GTX 1050 Ti or something like that. Be fine, be happy with your 2080 Ti. I'm sure things are gonna be just fine for you for the next few years anyway. Okay, but what about resale value? My resale value, my resale value. It's used IT equipment, resale value, should have been secondary on your concerns. You want a computer or computer components that will do what you need them to do. A lot of people are panicking saying, oh no, it, it, there's a new one, there's a new one. Yes, there is a new one. No, you don't have to have the new one as soon as it comes out. And that brings me to point number two. Think back of the last couple of launches and granted not graphics cards, but Intel, the 10 series came out. Nobody can find them. We waited, we waited. Still couldn't find them, still couldn't get them. When they did come out, they were over MSRP, what everyone was expecting to pay for them. Let's not pick on Intel. AMD, they launched the 3100 and the 3300X, and we weren't able to find those. There was a couple here and there. I see them pop up in Micro Center from time to time. They'll have two or three in stock, and they're gone before I can get down there the same day or next day. That's just been supply right now. And supply in 2020 for for CPUs has been pretty bad. I would imagine supply for graphics cards in 2020 is probably going to be about the same. So if you take a 2080 and you sell it off and you're waiting for the 17th to go get your new card, there's no guarantee you're going to be able to get it. And if you do, maybe you're not actually going to get it at MSRP. Maybe it's going to be more, which has been the trend for the last couple of product launches on the CPU side. I don't see them making the graphics cards any better. However, I'd be perfectly fine if, you know, there was hundreds of graphics cards all over the place that you could just readily go snatch up. Now, for you guys that have a 2080 Ti, but you also have a backup 2080 Ti, and then also a 2070, and also a 2060, and all kinds of other cards, yeah, if you want to go ahead and start selling those, I would say go ahead and start selling them. It's not going to hurt you any. However, keep in mind, don't sell the card out of your rig that you're currently using, waiting for the new one to come in. There might not be inventory, and guess what? There's been no independent reviews to back up the claims NVIDIA has made about the performance of their new 3000 series line of cards. 
that means they could basically cherry pick and put something out there that's while technically correct enough that they're not going to get sued for it may not be a hundred percent right for your use case in other words kind of think of it as miles per gallon right the manufacturer of a car can take and put all the perfect conditions together, test that car and verify that it will get, you know, 20 to 25 miles per gallon or 50 to 100 miles per gallon. But they've dictated all the conditions for this. So they have chosen what tires, what fuel mix to put in there. They have chosen the terrain that they are driving on. They have chosen the time of year they're driving on to validate all those claims. Same thing with NVIDIA. They can claim things are up to two times faster or up to 40 percent faster or slightly faster. They can put all those out in marketing because they're controlling those conditions. But what about getting some real world testing? So in other words, yeah, this card is great, but will it play the game that you want to play at two times more performance than a 2080 Ti? Will it actually render out your content more effectively? We simply don't know. And while I'm not going to sit here and say NVIDIA is just putting out false claims or anything like that, just keep in mind there's been no independent validation. So they are picking the conditions under which they are making those claims versus somebody like a Gamers Nexus or something like that who will actually take that card, put it through all of its paces. Is the cooling going to be adequate? Is the performance there? Is the performance there in rendering scenarios? Is it there in gaming scenarios, et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys. So I hope this mini rant wasn't too off-putting for a lot of you guys. But for your 2080 Ti, guys, just remember, your card is just fine. There is no need for you to sell it off at half of its value at this point or you know, worry about it dropping to two or $300, which I personally don't think they'll go that low. Just remember, you don't have to buy a 30 series card right when it first comes out. It's not something that you have to do, that you have to worry about. You have a great card. Just because the 3000 series was released does not mean the 2080 Ti's are now garbage. I would stick with that card for the future. But that's me. It's you know what I do. Even at a thirty seventy at five hundred dollars, even though it's a really good price for what the stated performance of that card is, I'm probably not going to spend five hundred dollars on a graphics card. If someone gets desperate and sells a twenty eighty Ti for a hundred bucks. I'm all over it, but I don't see that happening, and I don't think you should do it either if you have a twenty eighty Ti. So guys, I hope that helps. If you think I'm right, hit the like button. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you follow me over on Twitter. If I'm wrong, hit the dislike button or maybe don't hit the dislike button and just pretend you didn't watch the video anyway because that helps out too. I, get, I don't know. But leave a comment either way. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Let me know your thoughts on the launch of the 3000 series and the current you know used graphics card market that it's created for us. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.